Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to my world, the world away. We've now got part four of Build the Shelby Cobra from Agora Models. Gonna have some fun with this one. We're basically working on the brakes, the floor plan, some suspension and the differential. Uh, just in this box. The box looks deceiving, it looks small, but believe me, there's plenty to do in this one. We are gonna need some tools as well for this one. We're either gonna need some small pliers or larger pliers, because a lot of the uh, suspension items and the, um, uh, the the places where we're connecting them is done with pins. So we're gonna be putting the pins in and actually just pressing them into the uh, parts, uh, which is gonna be quite unique, because we didn't really see that in the uh, Shelby Super Snake. Now, talking about the Shelby Super Snake, as you can see, it's down there. Um, you can get that from Agora models as well as the Cobra here. And there's a plethora, I like the word plethora, I've been using it more often in conversation this year, of stuff that you can get over at Gora Models. Now I've put the link down here where you can get the Cobra from, but while you're over there, go and check out all the other builds. You've got the Super Snake, the Terminator, the Cobra, the Zero Fighters coming, the Bismarck's coming, the Leopard Tank's coming, and the Jaguar's coming as well. So uh, there is a lot of things uh, that Agora Models are propositioning to you in 2021 so uh, if you want a new build head over there and you'll be able to get that for yourself but anyway let's uh, get cracking on part four and we're going to start stage 24 with the brake parts for the right front wheel so we get this open and the first thing we need is the free-eared spinner looking like that and we're just going to be pushing this tiny hub into this side of the spinner as you can see it's got a little lug at the bottom there so quite simply oh dropped it already it's just going to be pushed into here we don't need glue for this it's going to be quite a secure fit in there as you can see it's going to hold itself no problems at all now we're going to be working on the brake components so we need the disc here and we need some of the brake components here they're just going to fit in just like that on this side not this side here this side here and then quite simply we're going to be putting the brake caliper looking just like that over the top of the two holes that you can see in there. So this is just gonna go over the top, just like that. It's gonna be held into place with OD01 screws. And as you can see, they all are all labeled up in here, so we'll get this open. Now I say screws, it's actually just one screw because the other side's just a lug to hold it in place. So it's gonna be just on this side here, make that tight, and as you can see, that's now in place. Now in previous parts we've been working on putting the wheels in place here. We've already put one on here as you can see there. We're going to be doing the same thing just to the other one on this side. So what we need to do as you can see this uh, joint here has got some wings on it. They're going to perfectly match what you see in there. So you just want to make sure that it fits flat into that section there. Just like that. Now I am going to be putting this a little bit into oil here. Just to help this piece go in because it is going into metal, just making sure that's lined up correctly, which it is. So we put that in. And make that nice and tight. There we go. We've got the uh, disc in place with the uh, brake caliper and the brake components there. Mirrors exactly what we've done uh, previously. So all we have to do, just on the other side there, just to hide that, we've got the magnetic spinner here which is just gonna go over the top. So now both of them look just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now in issue 25, we've got the left and the right floor plan. So we get this open. Okay, so the first floor plan, the one with the connectors, just gonna be going on this side here. And as you can see, we've got some lugs here and here. They're just gonna go over the lugs that we can see just there. When we actually position this on just like this, you'll feel it slot in just like that. And it's gonna be held in with four OD03 screws. Basically, we've got one in here, one here, one here, and one on this side over here. So I'll get them all in. We'll do this one first. I have already pre-dipped my screws into some oil because we are going into metal. So that's the first one. I think the second one I'll do, I'll do the one over this side here. That's two. I think the third one I'll do is this one in the corner, just over here. Nice and tight, that's number three. And then the last one we'll do, 
just this one over here. And then once they're all in, basically we're just going to mirror exactly what we've done with that floor plan just on this side. So this will go in, uh, where are we? Just like that. And again, mirroring the screws. So the first one's going to go in here. Whoops. There we go. Second one, just into the corner there. Excellent. Third one, just into this hole here. And lastly, just one on this side here. That's the two floor plans in place. Floor plans? <laughs> floor pans in place. So when we got to that stage, we can bring over this amazing engine that we worked on in the previous packs. Just show you that on the side camera there. Looking great. And as you can see, we've got this brackets in the middle here. That bracket's just going to go over to these points here that you can see. So just line them up like this. It should sit in absolutely perfectly. We're going to need two screws to put in there, and they are OP03 because they're going into plastic. So I'll get two of those out. And this will mount the engine in place as well. And just in that stage, you can see how much this has uh, come along. <laughs> it's just built up really quick. Don't over tighten this screw because you are going into plastic, remember. So there we go. That is the engine in place. And that, show you on the side camera, is all there is to do in that stage. Now we're going to mirror how we started this build, stage 26, we're going to be doing some more brake components here. So I'll get this open. We should be a dab hand at this now. Once again, we're going to take the spinner, exactly like we did at the front, or the front, the start of the video, and we're just going to put the hub in here, just like that. Once again, doesn't need any glue. And then we're going to be taking the brake disc and the brake components here, we're going to be dropping, it's slightly different this time because it hasn't got the arm coming off of it. It's going to be dropping that in there just like that. Just like last time though, we're going to be putting the caliper just over that lug there and screwing it in in the one hole that we can see there. And these are OD01 screws. And once again, I've used screws this is in the plural, but we've only put in one screw in here. So that's just going to go into this hole here and we secure that caliper down. And then what we need to do is just keep the spinner and this safely stored. That's the end of that stage. Now in stage 27, we're gonna be working on the differential housing. So we've got some components in here for that. I'm just gonna get these open. We'll have a look what we've got. And as you can see here, before we even start working on it, we've got some pins. And as I said, right at the start of this video, we've got pins to put in some of these components. So we'll see how they're gonna go in. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna take the differential housing. This is plastic, it looks just like that. We've got the uh, drive shaft connectors on this side looking like that. Now, basically you want them this way round with the indent facing down. And these are just gonna go over like this and on the other side, just like this. They can only really go in one way, but they are gonna be secured in with OP03 screws. So I've got that here. I'm gonna put the first one in here. And that will be kept nice and tight. And we just repeat the same on the other side there with the other OP03 screw. Make sure it's nice and tight, so that's not going anywhere. And there we go, there are the adapters in. Now, if this is what the differential housing looks like, and if we say that this is the front and this is the back, then the slant of the differential drive shaft here is going to be going down towards the rear of the housing. Now, what you wanna do is make sure you've got it this way round, so the thinner area here is nearest to the drive shaft housing. So this is gonna go in just like that. Now we're gonna hold this into place with one of these pins. Now, if you look at the pins, you'll have a smooth side and you'll have a rough side. The rough side's what's gonna hold it into place. So what we'll do is we'll put it in through the top, put the smooth side in first, push it all the way through. And then when you're happy with that, this is where you're gonna need your pliers just to push that down and home into place like that. So now we've got one of the uh, drive shafts in place. 
Go do the same on the other side. Once again, make sure you put it round the right way there. Just like that. Take a pin. And then once again, oops, it fell off. <laughs> Take a pin there. Put this down. I'm quite uh, proud of myself doing this all in one take at the moment. So apart from just dropping it then. <laughs> that never happens to me on the World of Wayne channel. Okay, and we're going to push this down here as well. So that pin's nice and flush at the top there. And then as you can see, that's both drive shafts in place. So I'm going to lie this flat down here. We need the uh, brake components that we worked on in the last stage looking just like this because we're going to start connecting this to the drive shaft. So what we want is this spindle here to be on the outside. And we're going to be connecting the drive shaft to this side here. And quite simply, as you can see, we've got a center hole just through there where the pin's going to go. The drive shaft's just going to go on like that with the pin once again just going through the top. So I'm going to lie that into position. We'll get this pin, make sure I've got it round the right way. Put that down the top there. Just like that. And then once again, use your pliers just to force that in. And there we go. We've got the uh, brake section attached to the drive shaft there. And that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 28, we've got some more parts for the uh, differential housing and the propeller shaft here as well. So we'll get this off. Now, all of these parts, as you can see here, are plastic. We do have some OP03 screws again. And quite simply, we're going to bring over the differential housing once again. And we've got a rear cover to put on. And as you can see, it's got a small hole and a larger hole here. The small hole is just going to go over the lug that we can see just there. So it's going to fit into place and we're going to hold this into place with just one of the OP03 screws. So I've got that here, screw that in just like this. I do love the detail on this because, you know, we've spent quite a bit of time on this housing of the differential and stuff. Um, it doesn't really show until we actually put it on the car, but the detail just in this tiny section alone is what's actually making this build. Uh, once that's in place, we're actually going to put the housing cover just over the top like this and then once again we've got one more screw hole down there that's going to take another of the OP03 screws and then that will hold this whole section together looking just like that and with the prop shaft here we can just keep that all to one side that's the end of that stage Now on stage 29, as you can see on the side camera there, we're working on the upper suspension arms with a lot of metal details here. So we get this out. As you can see, we've got three parts here. We've also got some pins and screws, but we don't need this for the second. So bringing over the uh, whole chassis with the engine on, what we're going to do is the differential housing that we were working on previously, we're going to put this into place. Now this is going to go this way round with the screw hole facing upwards. And it's going to go into this section just like that there. Now we've got the prop shaft looking just like that and that's just going to go between this section here and the end of the gearbox. So we can plug them both in like that and that's how that's going to be held just for the time being and that keeps that prop shaft nice and safe. Once that's done we can just put that to one side because we don't need that at the moment. So now we're going to work on the upper suspension frame looking just like that. And quite simply all we're going to do they're going to go in just like this so that the single one on the angle is going in the top and then we've got the one just going in the bottom just like that. This is going to be held in with one of the pins, 7 mil pin, just like the last pins we put in just through the top here. So I'll get the first one in, line it up and we'll put that pin in the hole. And this time I'm just going to push it down just with the flat end of my pliers here. So then that's nice and flat in there like that. Do the same on the other side here in there like that we'll put one of the pins in the top line it up and then once again I'll push that flat just with my pliers and there we go those those two sections in what we need to do then is bring over the chassis looking just like that 
and this is going to be fitting just over the top of these sections here lining that up so that we've got the blank section at the back pointing towards the rear of the vehicle we're going to secure this down with OD05 screws now it takes four of these I've already put these in some oil so I can just uh, screw these straight in one two there's number three and finally just over here number four and then what we want to do then is just connect the top suspension arm to the top of the uh, brake unit components there we've got a 14.5 mil screw for that and quite simply it's just going to go through this side here whoops line that up again through this side here through the whole section just to the other side and once again I'm just going to push that with my pliers just to keep that into place like that and there we go that's attached on that side there now before I finish that I'm just going to put the prop shaft back in because it is going to be hard to move this around in a second because <laughs> I'm going to be reinforcing that in the next stage with the lower suspension arms so here's all the parts for the lower suspension arm I'm just going to put them to one side because the first section we're going to need is just the shaft here which is the shock absorber cylinder so we bring over what we've been working on previously I'm going to try and locate this so you can see this better probably that way is better and we're just basically going to be putting this section in first just into here like that and once again it's going to be held in this side with a pin which is a 12 mil pin so this pin is going to go through the shock absorber sleeve there but it's also going to go once I've got it lined up through the other side of the suspension arm here so I'm just going to line that up as well we'll take some lining up I'm sure but there we go that's gone in and then once again secure that in with the flat side of my pliers and push that together just like that I'll just move this over here while I work on that and basically we're going to be taking the uh, left rear lower arm and we're going to be slotting it into the gap that we can see just there now this is going to be held in with one of the uh, eight mil pins so I'm just going to put that in here make sure we put it around the right way so the rough sides the last thing you want going in because that's what's going to hold it into place make sure that goes all the way through the parts and once again I'm going to push this together just like that so that one's in there now on that shaft we're going to be putting the spring looking just like that once again we're going to be bringing over the chassis with where we've been working because this spring is actually just going to go over the top of the shaft that we put in first here so I'll put that in now just like that so then the whole shaft can go into there guiding that in now what we need to do is turn this upside down gently because the first thing we want to put in place is a pin just to hold this into the chassis frame just there now once again that's going to be an 8 mil pin from this side here just like that make sure it goes through all of these parts excellent it's held in place and once again I'm going to use the flat end of my pliers just to get that all the way in just like that so that's now secured to the chassis underneath we've also got another pin just to put in further down we've just done this one we're going to be doing the one just down this side here once again that's going to be an 8 mil pin which I've got here line that up we'll push that in as well and once again use my pliers to push that home so now we've got pins in this section here and this section here which means the last ones we just need to put in is the one that's just going to go and hold the wheel components or the brake components from the bottom there now this is a 15 times 5 mil pin 
it's going to go in just like that and once again use my pliers to push that all the way in and then when I turn that over you can see that's quite sturdy in place now very sturdy in fact it's not going anywhere <laughs> but we have got the suspension as you can see there for that to bounce up and down and that's all there is to do in that stage so the final stage we've got to do is an exact mirror of what we've been working on uh oh how many times now two times before we've already done it in this uh in this pack so i'll get all the pieces out and it's just working on the uh, brake components for the last wheel so once again quite simply what we're going to do just drop the shaft down there like that we're also going to take the spinner here and put the hub in the top just like that we're going to put the caliper just over the lug and the hole that we got in there we're going to secure this in with one OD01 screw just like this Make sure that's nice and tight and then basically we've got the spinner here and we've got the wheel component, the brake component there. We've got a separate spinner there. I'm going to put that to one side, just show you what we've done for the rest of the pack on the side camera there. As you can see, the suspension over this side here is in place. We've got the differential housing and the prop shaft in, and that is all there is to do in that pack. Now you may have noticed during that build, between the uh, last few stages I put a plaster on my hand. That's what happens when you're pushing things in with your plier and it slips and it goes into your hand. <coughs> so I uh, have to get Mrs. Welder Wayne to help me on that one. But uh, just be careful when you put those pins in. They really do hold it well, but uh, they might be a little bit tricky to get in. So um, you've got to make sure they're lined up absolutely perfect. But if you want to get this for yourself, then once again, I've put the link for Agora models down the bottom there. Uh, it's not just the Cobra they've got. Check their site out. They've got a plethora. I'm going to keep using that word in every video now of uh, things that are coming and are out now for you to order. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.